So guys, welcome back to more Rage 2. I wasn't sure how much more of this game I would actually do. I would at least want to do another part or two uh, of the game just to see how it goes. But thank you guys for all the likes on the first part. It really means a lot to me. If you want more of this game, just keep it up. I may just kind of be going day to day with this series. But the game is fun so far. So thank you guys for sticking with me. <laughs> and let's get this. All right, guys, we're headed up here. Uh, so last time we left off, we did the blackout mission. And I'm going to stick, as far as the legend goes, we have two mission objectives. We have stuff we can do along the way, like the bandit den and stuff like that. Wasteland Celebrity. So we're going to go here first. Uh, if I have time, I'll go here in the same video. Probably going to be another part for that. Uh, but I felt like I'll do some side stuff in the videos, but taking some of the stuff down, I may cut some of it out, just depending on how much time it actually takes per thing. Oh, God. Good. <laughs> I thought something bad was going to happen. All right, here we go. Yeah, I like these missions, though. I like when you can kind of get, like, a full-fledged story experience. The free roam aspect is also really nice, but I don't have any abilities yet, which you get from doing that stuff, so... Oh, I forgot. Wellspring. Destination. Wellspring. Over 9,000. Finally. Now, let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Interesting. I felt like I've done this mission before as well. You can basically talk to anybody. They'll tell you where stuff is on the map. Uh, you can get side missions from them as well. All right, let's go over here. This town area looks really nice. Gorilla gear. Cool way to spell it. Sentient. See what the vendor has compared to, to the other one. You. Turret right. drone, really? Let's have a look. Did I buy all those? I <laughs> just buy everything. Entering rest mode. Terminating shopping interface. Yo, I, I finally got this game on console. I haven't played it on PS4 yet. I was going to try it out. Uh, I'm just, I'm stuck on the PC. The ultra settings are just too nice right now. All right, here we go. Stop right there, shit. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, or don't try at all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. And I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said... Hear that? Oh, shit. Yeah, I kind of remember this mission. You gotta fight him off. Nice, okay. So that was the beginning of the game. I didn't realize it. Yo, I'm telling you, this game is sick. I love how it plays. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a part two for it, and then I just was sitting there, I was like, man, I really, I really want to play that game, you know? Is there anybody else? Nice. Better get up there. It's probably one of the most responsive shooters I've played this year. Like, I mean, if I mash the button, I mean, it's, it's instantaneous. Like... It's just, it's almost like Quake. It's like a quick, <laughs> a quick twitch type shooter, you know? Impressive. You think it can catch a bullet too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the dagger project. Whoa, 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 easy. I'm here about the dagger project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Vineland was raised to the ground. She's a holog... I, I can't explain. I'm Walker. The last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger, let's take these fuckers out. Then we'll talk. Man, the graphics are so good on like little cutscenes right there. It's all in game too, which is there. crazy. Same. They gunned down your people. I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. Pretty damn skilled, stranger. <laughs> Get ready! Steady now. 
Once the door opens, they're walking into a fucking blender. Like fish in a barrel. Oh god. Yo, the, it auto aims to the uh, <laughs> to the plant. <laughs> you got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while. But lately, he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware. Including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So I kill him and take back the hardware. No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod. But we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service. Get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there, and you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. Walker, I've been meaning to ask you. Clayton, I hit the jackpot. All uncracked All right, nice. sitting here. Problem is, these assholes shrouded got the jump on us and killed half my team. You're gonna double my comp, or I'll bring this info to someone with deeper pockets. Yeah, I, I remember watching... So, I had some early footage. I think that, like, the first video I ever did was from this type of quest line. I remember this office, but I got a chance to play this, but I wasn't able to capture this, even though the footage I posted was of this area. It wasn't all together, so this is cool. I'm getting to, like, revisit <laughs> everything. This game just plays, like, I don't know what it is. There's so something about it. It's just fun. This is Clay Clayton's winner's lounge. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. Let me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on. There's got to be a way. Sure. You can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as tough as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way. Not for you. All right, make a name for yourself on Mutant. Oh, yeah, Mutant Bash TV. I remember that now. Okay. Uh, I think that is. Wasteland Celebrity, hold on. Why has it got two icons? Make an name for yourself on that. Does it really- maybe- oh, you know what? These are all the different Mutant Bash TVs. Well, that- that one's not. These two are, I think. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Any luck? You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I gotta go kill the shit out of some muties on TV. Cyber Doctor, I uh, can assist you permanently upgrading yourself with an augmentations. Is a purchase with a life gland. Oh wow, okay. TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Become a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh oh. Let's hope you've got what it takes. Those shows eat up folks like gobbling down peanuts. He suggests looking for more modifications. I don't have enough stuff to uh, get that yet. <laughs> Once something will work towards. But yeah, I've just been kind of taking the series video to video at this point. It's fun. I just didn't know how much mass appeal it would actually have. Uh, that's why I'm kind of just playing it casually right now. 
I wonder how actually long the game is. If you just stick to the main critical path, I don't know, like, how long it would actually be. All right, we can go here or we can go there to get this done. Uh, I don't think there's another one. I think this over here is something completely different. So we'll just drive over here. If I see something along the way, oh, like this, hold on. I'd be willing to do this. Now, I'm not stacked like I could initiated. be. Let's try all the fuel canisters. Okay, yeah. Pit stops are areas with the goons, the goon squad. That sounds like some Space Jam <laughs> type talk. Wow, they're actually smoking still. Like, I thought they got detonated by now, you know? Okay, there goes two right there. Or one. Or now, now there's two. Nice. Wait, what's in here? Hold on. Really? Oh, it's just a... It's just a back area. I really like this game. Like, it's just fun. It, it's like the... It doesn't take itself too serious. It's almost like a mix between... I guess, Borderlands and... I don't know what you'd consider it. It's just different. <laughs> it's, I don't know how to really describe it the best way. I could have sworn that was a person. All right, let's find these other barrels and get out of here. Um, I think. Like they're all gonna be in here. All right, there's two more right there. Nice. Yeah, they're nice hit. Yo, I like this little drone you can get. I don't know, I don't know any more AR bullets. This thing is going in! Whoa. Oh, we got a chest here, hold on. Oh, wow, really? Alright, storage containers, data pads, alright. This is gonna open up the garage next to me. I think once you do these once, I think they're on the map, they're completely done forever. All right, nice. I got some more AR bullets. We just have to find a way. It looks like there's two down here. Oh, they're coming out of the woodwork now. Hold on. Really? There's more behind? Just keep keep shooting till you get him. That's how that works. Hold on. So the last two gotta be in there. Oh, that's it right there, right in front of me. All right, this should do it. Maybe? So I think the last one that's hanging up in there, I just need to go destroy it. I thought they would be connected, but... Yeah, here it is. Alright, we're good on that. Nice! That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> and you increase! That's like the only way to really increase stuff, just do all this side stuff, which is nice. The view is up in smoke. Well, it's a shame to waste good juice, but it's better than the alternative. This area should cool oh, wow. down a bit now. That's a lot of stuff. Alright, there's a few other things I can do in here. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I just wanted to stop and do this. I feel like these little things in the game, they always, when I was playing it early with Bethesda, it was like, we were stopping a lot and doing this kind of stuff. And if like, if you want a new weapon, you could go to like an arc area and get that. So we'll just have to see, uh, 
how many stops we have to make along the way. I'm gonna go do the Mutant Bash TV thing, though. I don't want to spend too much time getting sidetracked over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like you just kind of get caught, caught up in the whole entire world because it's like there's just so much to do. <laughs> it's like I would literally spend oh, wow, my driving. Guys, we're almost there. Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, God. I don't know what that was just now. <laughs> it's like they just teleported in front of me. Yeah, we do the Mutant Badge TV thing really quick. I feel like the story is going to progress a lot once you get to... Oh, you can just do this. Nice. Oh, God. Lucille, entering the Mutant Bash TV arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. All right, I nice. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. Those things are nastier than you think. Oh, mes amis, look here! What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. Tell. Does, do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the... Flesh, I present you with. Hmm? A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest. Oh, yes, of wines. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur, the lust to kill. <laughs> you have it, the promise of great. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. And now, sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill. Uh, uh, Kill for uh, Desdemonia! <laughs> All right, nice. Uh, I remember that cutscene. I've seen that one like three or four times now, so it's like, it's kind of funny. All right, this shouldn't be too hard. Actually, hold on. Is there a shop? Yeah, there's a shop. Let me buy some health infusion really quick before we get started. Mutant Bash TV gift shop, uh, purchasing anything found, more tokens will be earned. Okay. Come on. Wait, you can only on use. Up, killer. What you looking for? Something oh no, you can only get. Dizzy Deluxe can get you anything. You only can get it with Just tokens. Just bring me those blood soaked bash tokens. Bash to the max. Oh well. Is there not like a normal shop I can it's just buy under, some? Yeah. Whatever, it should be fine. <laughs> Let's just try it out. Famous last words, if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, 
if I'm not mistaken, oh, you know what's funny? I just realized something. You see the mask they're wearing? I just watched that uh, Happy Death Day to You. I think it's like two movies for it, which are actually surprising, really good. Uh, but that mask in there kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Here goes nothing. Mes amis, for our next contender, such grace, such flair, so debonair. I should have stocked up on the health before I left. I'm gonna have none. I'd like to play super uh, passive or whatever. Tokens in this little section right here. Okay. I was wondering, so you earn them just by playing it. Okay. This game for some reason has me hyped for Borderlands. <laughs> this is like a serious version of Borderlands, it feels like. Oh, they're up top. Oh, yeah, you gotta get all of them right here. I'm not going to use my overdrive thing. I, I don't know if it gives you health or not. I can't remember. More you Aggressive kill. Nice. I didn't think about running out of bullets. Good you gotta get all four, yep. Nice, got it. Alright. Let me grab all these tokens. <laughs> there was so many of them. Uh, did I... Can't even see half of them, really. That's whatever. It should be fine. I think there's health in between each stage, if I'm not mistaken. At least there was last time. There's bullets. Okay, nice. And we got... We have health infusion. Nice. There's a lock here. What in the world? I feel like you should be able to go in there. Alright, here we go. Ballroom Blitz. I remember this one. <laughs> this is crazy. They actually get killed by that thing, too. So the electricity from them. Nice. They get flung. <laughs> yeah, you gain health from this. Nice. Okay, I have to remember that. This game plays so smooth, man. It's so responsive, which is scary because I know they don't play games that are this, you know. Once I get abilities, man, I'm about to be going in. I wonder if these things stop so I can grab the, uh, the coins. Take damage. Oh well, let's just keep going. I don't want to take too much damage anyways. Wing stick. I always forget to use those. But we're good on uh, ammo and everything. So I feel like you should be able to like shoot these locks, you know? 
Nice health infusion. Let's go. All right. Ooh, we got all the ammo. Nice. Two more stages. <laughs> What is that? That's <laughs> so crazy. I, I, now it's like coming back to me a little bit. I was like kind of caught off guard when I first saw it. So they can get killed by that thing too. This is a lot of fun. You know what this reminds me of? In Borderlands 2, there was an area you could go farm like an arena. I used to do that to get loot in that game. This kind of reminds me of that. And also, the Sa Saints Row the Third. Whatever that... I forgot what character was. But you'd go to like some kind of like area. Kind of like this. And fight a bunch of enemies. Good. All right. So far, so good. What? I thought it was over. Does this thing still spin? Yeah, it does. All right, let's get going. Yo, I'm glad I'm getting health infusions. It's not that hard, so I, I thought maybe I was a little, uh, being a slight bit paranoid. All right, here's the final area. Oh, shit. I for oh, it's a boss fight. I forgot. <laughs> Let me get the... Look out for the next wave! Careful! We need the whole three acts from you! How to put some turret drones down. Stuff everywhere. Thought this is the boss fight for some reason. I love how they rain tokens on you when you kill them. Oh, it is the warhead. Got him. No! Up the show must go on! Echo's talent is only the starting point! <laughs> Got him. Let's get it, man. Give me them coins, bitch. <laughs> nice, let's go. Accept your prize. All right. That was fun. I I was not sure how it was gonna go. <laughs> I thought I was gonna struggle a little bit, but I did all right.
killer. Let's move on to the next sucker. Oh, okay. Okay, we got it. Here it is. Next suckers, let's kill him. Let's go. Let's kill him. Well, guess that was that.